Take two. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to lesson two of bass guitar for drummies. Um, we're going to do a quick review of our first lesson before we get started. Um, we started with the E string open. We did all the strings open, E, A, D, G. And then, maybe I should point on there? I can see that, I guess. Oh, E, A, D, G. And then we went to the A string, open. And the next one on the A string, A, B. We go through the notes. Just like, all right. The big string all the way opens your E. On the first fret, you get your F. And on the third one, you get your G. E, F, G, F, E, F, G, F, E, F. On the sec second string, you get your A open. Instead of the first fret on this, it's the second fret to get to B. And the third fret to get to your C. C, E, B, A, B, C. The next string is just the same fingering again. One, two, zero, two, and three, that's your E. No, your D. E, second fret, and F, third fret. D, E, F, B, D, E, F, B, D. And the last string is a little different. You go every other fret. Zero, and two, and four. For G, A, B, A, G. chart let us know if you can't we put a chart up there for you and then we did we started out with simple beats and this week we're going to review those simple beats and I'm going to be playing them on the drums so you know how the drums fit in with the bass so, there we go. want to start with the money beat most basic beat of all okay well let's pick a G note we'll do it Use a G note, that's the first string on the third fret. Okay. Okay. We're going to go kind of slow so you can play long. Instead of going ba 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 ba, when the I hit the bass note when the bass drum when the bass drum hits, and then when the snare hits, I muffle it. Give me a, a slow money beat again, I guess. Touching the string and stopping it from ring instead of like that. Sometimes you want that, but usually you want. Sometimes you want to muffle between those two notes. Alright. Okay. And we did the shuffle last week. 
We're working on one note bass lines now. Okay. You're going to tell them what note to play? Let's, see. Let's get used to the F note. That's the first fret. You can use one finger and squish it right down. And the same thing, I'm going to muffle where the snare hits. will be right. the muffling it would sound like this and I'll play it yeah that's it that's why you have to have the note and the silent part I lift up on that string a little bit to quiet this end and I touch the string down here to quiet the whole string. Quiet, quiet. It makes it thumpy, rather than a droning. Last week you showed me two fingers. I'm going slow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As you speed up, you might need. Okay. Okay. Now let's go on to. Uh, Two note pattern where you play two notes. Which one was that? Country beat? Give me a straight country beat. Two tuck it, two ka tuck it. No, straight two two tuck two 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 tuck. Here's that's the money beat again. Yeah. Some country songs use that. That's why it's the money beat. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay, play a little country with it. Yeah, I'm gonna we do two notes. See, let's see. Move up to the third fret on the second string. Hit the C. Muffle it. Hit it again. Then move to the first string. You don't have to move your hand anywhere. Just move up. Okay, give me a, a beat and I'll follow. Muffle, muffle, rather than sometimes you want that, but I think it sounds like it sounds better to let that snare drum have some air. So when you hit the bass drum, I'm hitting the notes, and when you're hitting the snare, I'm letting some air. So there, okay. <laughs> Try again, a little faster. Technique, you can either play with the tip of your finger on each one. A lot of times I squish with an extra finger just to squish it. Or you can use your finger and roll. That way you don't have to move at all, you just change your pressure. Pushing down with it about here. And you're pushing down with that one about there, so you just... Helps if you squish with the other finger. Especially with fat strings like this. Try it a little faster. One, two, three, four. Take these two fingers. Doesn't matter how, just get them pushed down.
hand on one. I don't know, you drummers know that. Okay, I'm getting tired of a C note. And we did the country beat going into like the polka, polka style country beat. Okay, okay. Yeah, with a, like a 2-4 of a fast beat, use the same method. See, how about one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. that works is uh, we're calling the note C1 that's tonic and uh, the G is the five of the, the five note that's the uh, dominant they call it because they're five notes away C D E F G one two three four and that's really handy that they put that together on bass because they're right there. You use the one and the five a lot. And you also use the four. If we go to the four from the C, C, D, E, F, then the dominant of that is the C. It's right there too. to go far. So let's uh, just try um, a measure in C and a measure in F and just we'll repeat those. Okay, what kind of beat do you want? Whatever beat you want, I don't care. You just start so. drum I'm making the bass guitar play it feels so connected the, and the bass player should do that to the drummer too right if you start going boom the bass player will do that too but if the bass player starts doing that you should follow along with that keep their best friends the bass and the bass drum mm -hmm. and that air in the middle is the where the bass and the snare work together that silence. Sometimes you want the the bass to um, play along with the um, snare. You can leave it on the same note and do that, or you can play a higher note instead of a lower note. Since the G is there and here, and a C is there and there, when he I use the low note for the bass drum and the high note when you hit the snare. Try that. the bass. 
bass and still have the same effect the snare does by having a higher note. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I use that a lot. Um, we're going to do a tra country train beat because we're working on country. Okay. Let's try a song like. Uh, Call Me the Breeze or Lay Down Sally or uh, Lay Down Sally's a straight straight beat to kataka to kataka to kataka to kataka to kataka to Okay. Let's see. It's a, I'm playing the notes we've learned. No. I'm going to do it in C. One. follow your bass drum you follow my bass we're playing two different things oh okay well let me hear what you're playing that one. gets boring but uh, I don't you know, think so I don't know it doesn't but have to until you get fancy but in the beginning it's gonna seem kind of boring just going boom 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 but it's not so much that it's hard to play what you want to do is make it sound good so more important than playing fancy is playing start simple but make it sound clean and even mm-hmm you can be Chris, Chris Squire later. But yeah, but, you know, drummers are used to repetition. Mm -hmm. and sometimes we know we have to be boring to yeah. be effective. And Five drummers could play the same beat, and they'd all sound a little different. Mm -hmm. you know? Just that, that same beat. That's why some, some of them get paid so much money to play the same beat as somebody else. So you gotta, It's the sound you make that's more important than what you're doing. What you're doing just gets you there. You, want the, you play music with your ears. Okay. That's probably enough for today. Okay. Because everybody has to practice now. Next week we're going to do a song, an easy song, and you might want to get yourself familiar with it. Which song was that? Uh, by, by Electric Light Orchestra. Called can't get it out, can't get it out of my head. You remember that one? Listen to your old FM classic rock radio station. And it'll be right there. Can't get it out of my head. He uses the notes C and G and F and D. Once in a while, there's an A flat and a B flat, but it doesn't move too quick. But it sounds nice. It's easy to play. Give that a listen and we'll have the chords up for you so you can look at the chord chart like that. And uh, Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try to do one of these every week or every 10 days. Um, I also want to just mention one thing. I'm assuming you're all drummers and you know note values already, so we're not really focusing on that. You know, whole notes, half notes, quarter notes. If you do need help with that, I'm going to recommend Penny Larson, L-A-R-S-O-N. She has a year full of drum lessons on YouTube. They're really very good and she starts from the very, very basic beginning. So you could go there and if you need to refresh yourself or learn note values, I'm going to send you to her. And I guess that's it for today. I got that little basement amp there.